he had he taught 31 years. What did he teach? Uh, what kind of a teacher? He taught chemistry and physics. And really? I used to teach uh, sciences. I feel really sad for people, those that want to go to college and for some reason or other just can't manage it. Absolutely. But, but I, I, I agree with you 100% Gladys and that's why it's critical that we provide the avenues, the opportunities for, especially for first generation yes, uh, students absolutely. to, you know, I'm actually a first gen, my father came over from Greece as, a, as, a, as an immigrant. He had a high school diploma and that's all that he had. Um, I, and I went to, I was the first one from my family to get a you know, college degree and ultimately get a master's degree. So I, I, I agree with you 100% that we need to provide the resources, public and private resources, so kids can go to college, especially first generation kids. All of the different levels of government are dealing with budget, you know, revenue shortfalls, you know, because of the way the economy is. All the more reason why we have to be very focused on rebuilding our economy uh, and making sure that we're creating jobs as much as possible. That's you know? critical. Um, right. The projected revenue is starting to improve you know, at the state level because we are creating more jobs. You know, That's true. Even though it's not at the pace we would like it to be and there are still a lot of folks struggling, there are jobs being created in Fort Collins, in northern Colorado, and in the state of Colorado. So the, the recent revenue that we just got in terms of September's revenue is, is above what it was a year ago. So we are moving in a good, in my view, in a good direction. Even though um, slowly. It's even better. though, it, you know, the, 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 the pace of creating private sector jobs, because we've lost so many, there's a gap. And it's really, really hard uh, to fill that gap. Um, but I would, I would submit that there will be cuts. You know, when we go back to, into session in January, you know, one of the, the foremost things that we have to do is balance the state budget. It has to be balanced by Colorado Constitution. So there will likely be more cuts, but you know, people like me are going to work really hard to make sure we're not taking money away from early childhood programs and that we're minimizing the impacts on K-12 and, and higher education. Uh, because college education is critical uh, you know, for folks to have opportunities and to build a workforce you know, that, that the business sector needs. One of the things that I'm looking at is uh, creating some incentives for community banks to provide loans to small business people in enterprise zones, uh, which are you know, often in distressed areas and, and things like that. So that's an example of how we can, in my view, how we can support small businesses and get that flow of capital. Um, I actually uh, passed a bill into law that's um, called the Colorado Innovation Investment Tax Credit. And essentially it provides some tax incentives for what are called angel investors. Oftentimes when uh, you know, people get an idea like coming out of the university you know, or something technology related, you know, the first phase is in terms of getting the money that you need to be able to you know, market that idea and put it out into the marketplace are what are called angel investors. A lot of times they're family members or people who might put down 10,000 or, um, you know, or, or, that, or that sort of thing. This particular law that we passed provides an incentive for those folks to make quote, angel investments, and help people get the seed capital they need to eventually grow their business, hire more people, and then access venture capital, and then, you know, go, kind of go from there. So they do, they do need capital to get started. Well, they do. I think also it's important that the issue of expanding e economic opportunity is also related to how do we reduce poverty. Even though Colorado has one of the highest per capita incomes in the, in the state, we have one of the most dramatic increases in childhood poverty, including kids that are living in deep poverty, you know, whether it's Head Start or things like that that are so critical to help these kids get out of poverty. So that's another thing we have to build, in my view, we have to build an economy that's fair, an economy that works for all of us. Exactly. And, and, and that means access to affordable housing, that means access to affordable childcare, that means access to affordable uh, healthcare.